100. It is Thursday. A lot of stuff going on. The weather, it's weird. The highways, all crazy as normal. And Rhonda Oaks, uh, public information director from TxDOT is here to talk about all that. It's your first time in studio, and uh, I told you I wouldn't ask you any hard-hitting questions, <laughs> but I totally lied. So, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't I don't have that much. The, the big thing is um, there's some serious construction going on um, when you leave or come into Lufkin off of uh, North Timberland onto 59. I guess that's one thing where uh, they said it was going to be shut down for a couple days, and it's been shut down for weeks now. So what what's yes. going on there? Actually, our intention was in the very beginning, Mike, was to close it only for two days. Right. And what we're doing is the old railroad bridge that crosses North Timberland, we were, we're replacing it. Okay. So what we were going to do is put in a temporary railroad bridge so that A&NR Railroad could continue their operations. And in doing that, we realized that the clearance is just not there yet no. uh, for vehicles. So our engineers went back and looked at it, decided it would be best to close it until we do have that, that new temporary bridge in. And it's closed to all traffic. We're aiming right. to open it back up to traffic, limited traffic. March the first. Okay, that's. I think that's what everybody wants to know. Yes. Mar so March the first. That's hope. that. Weather well, that's permitting. that's the goal to even just be looking for it to be open. So yes. don't don't think like every day on my way in, for instance, I think oh, maybe it's open today. But if I know, hey, March first, you're just gonna have to get used to that uh, detour that's yeah. right there. Yeah, and it really is safer not to allow any vehicles or trucks to right. try to traverse through that area and. Um, you know, and, and it's going to be limited once we do open, and maybe we'll get it open before March 1st, who knows. But when we do, there will still be some construction going on. The permanent railroad bridge will be taken out and the new ones being built. But there will be traffic allowed through that area. That's probably that good. Time. How and many how many trucks do you think over the years have hit that bridge? Oh, man, who knows? <laughs> who knows? So maybe now it's worth it if it's closed till March 1st and then you don't have yeah. to wait or get stuck yeah. in traffic. We're hoping. We're hoping. Or in floodwaters. That's pretty That's much right. cleared up, right? All the, the flooding that was down there? They, they, we hope, yeah. yeah. Well, we I guess hope that this will correct some of that as well. I didn't I see any water and it rained mm -hmm. quite a few days. And mm -hmm. there was... No, if we ever had some flooding this year. <laughs> so it, it looked good over there. So, so that's one big thing. When you go over that area and you're on that new overpass, it just looks like there's so much orange there. It's yes. amazing. So that's pretty much the big thing. But also, is there some widening going on? Is that that kind of happened before the train tracks issue? On the loop. Uh, yes. Loop 27. That's all, that's really one of our that that's our major project, and the railroad bridge kind of ties into all that. But. The uh, the loop project is uh, in itself a fifty eight million dollar project. Wow! So what we're seeing now is the um, the access road or the, the feeder road along the side of the loop is being created for those businesses that okay. line the loop. Right. And it'll be so nice for them. And then traffic will be uh, able to drive on that lane off the loop. Yeah. The the eastbound main lanes, the concrete's being laid for that this next week. So weather permitting, we're going to see more progress in that area, and we're looking to have that uh, project finished up as well uh, in just the, the coming months, yeah. the next three or four months. The other thing is when you drive through there, drive safely. I've seen people, okay. I've seen people hit those barrels and hit, you know, I, I saw a state trooper going to pick one of them up, and then I, I saw a car hit it, and I thought, mm -hmm. what, how did you not, mm -hmm. what, how did you not see what was going on here? And so it's just, yeah. it's crazy. And, you know, it's a 45 mile an hour zone through there, and we can't stress enough to motorists to slow down. And of course, law enforcement watch for them also. Right. But what concerns us is not just the safety of the motorists, but but our guys out there working. Yeah, oh you know, yeah, without wanna, a doubt. They want to go home at the end of the day. Day. So, you yeah. know, just slow down and watch for them and let them do their job. So that's the Angelina County side of things, what's going on. Um, Nacogdoches, and especially people that work in Lufkin and have to head back to Nacogdoches at 5 o'clock. Fortunately, I head back to Nacogdoches not at that time, so I avoid a lot of that. But it gets pretty crazily backed up. Now, mm -hmm. the question that I think I have and a lot of people have for you is, there used to be a dedicated lane into the city of Nacogdoches. Mm -hmm. Now, there's not. Now both lanes can turn left, filling it up with 18-wheelers and people that don't know where they're going, which has caused a massive traffic headache. What is the reasoning for that, or when can we expect a through lane? And there will be some changes made. Right. Uh, there will be a through lane uh, coming in the next couple of months. Yeah. 
the dedicated left turn lane now is on the far inside yeah. of US 59 rather than the outside going onto the big horseshoe. But you can still gone. go onto the loop from the right hand lane. That's the problem mm -hmm. is there's no Everyone's enforcement. There's a sign that says left hand mm -hmm. lane to Texarkana or whatever, mm -hmm. but you can also go toward Texarkana on the loop from the right lane. So is there any, I guess, um, plans in effect to to actually close off that right hand lane to make that a through lane because that's what the sign says but when you get up there you realize you can make a left out of the right hand lane mm -hmm. so that's one of those things that i think a lot of people have been talking about and that's what really kind of backs it up um, and i think they have uh looked at some definite plans and gone back to uh, the 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 planning stage and say this works better here and let's do this here rather yeah. than that yeah the, the congestion was really more than what they had anticipated in the beginning and it has backed up on them every day at certain yeah. hours it is amazing and, how uh, much traffic goes through there really i mean that's is. that's and one thing too that I, I don't think anybody anticipates until you stop it yes and no. then also the problem that we had was you know so many people that travel through the area are just googling using google maps oh, or yeah. using their you know their their technology inside their vehicle to direct them in the direction they need to go and those were not updated and so it's been a struggle for TxDOT to get Google yeah. to update oh, yeah. mapping yeah. There is, to where is, they weren't sending people over to that old exit circle exit over there off of As updated as those things are it's not to the, I had some issues in the woodlands a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago trying mm -hmm. to figure out where I was going but it, it's fairly close but so there is plans or there are plans I should say to make a dedicated lane to go into the city of Nacogdoches oh, yes. for those commuters. So. Oh yes, yes. And then the overall big picture of this whole area, you know, we're we're getting it uh, widened out. It's going to be a beautiful highway. If you can say highway will be beautiful, but into yeah. the future and the state doesn't they haven't funded this project yet, but you know, interstate 69. Yes, will be coming in and there'll be a beautiful flyover over that whole area. That now, traffic won't be stopping at all. Now is they the, want to go in and I don't know I don't know if you know this or anybody knows this at this point, but will Interstate sixty nine, now after the Angelina River Bridge, where is that gonna go? Two Nacogdoches hit the loop in that or is that still undecided? Yeah, I think that's still up in the air. See that's well. we'll that's what I mean. I was hoping you had some information I, that nobody I had I that could, could yeah. tell you. But you know, I think those those decisions have yet to be finalized. Okay. Uh, coming out of Austin along with the dollars. It's been a, yeah, it's been a long time though. It seems it like you know, people have been talking about this. And I know that there forever. are growing there are growing pains through Nacogdoches, through Lufkin and, and and if you look at the map for I sixty nine, it it comes down through the Lufkin district of, of Texas Lufkin district, our nine counties, and, and really impacts most of our nine counties. Right. Nacogdoches and Lufkin being a big part of that. Absolutely. And um, but to bring all these roadways up to interstate standards, there's obviously some good, some growing pains in these communities. Red tape. We're not a lot of red to, tape. As yes, I say. we're not used to all this traffic and all this construction, but it is ironing out. It's smoothing out, and these projects will be finished. I used to tell people I, I moved out of Houston to Nacogdoches because there was no traffic and there wasn't construction, and now we're right in it. No, it's, well, it's it not means, bad. It's, it, it, yeah. At least everybody's focused on it. And you what know? that means is your community is growing. I There's know. There's growth and, there, and, and that's great. I am a fan. If we could just get that through lane, it would just, I feel yes. like it would, it would smooth a lot of it out. But thank you for coming by, and we hope to see you again. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff going on that we'll have to talk about uh, as far as construction or when something happens, yes. train tracks get hit again. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, <laughs> We Thank, hope that yeah. never happens. Thank you for taking the time out of your day, Bye. and uh, we will talk to you soon. Thank you.